Hey guys, welcome to Farmhouse Pups. Today we're gonna to talk about the essentials that you need for your new puppy. So first off, what type of dog food? We use the Purple Diamond puppy food. That is what our veterinarian recommended for us. Another dog food that I would suggest would be the Royal Canine. That is what Lincoln, our miniature poodle, started off on at the breeders. And it seemed like a really good brand to use. All right, up next is dog bowls. It's pretty self-explanatory that you need a dog bowl for food and water, but I did want to point out that I recommend you get the rubber anti-skid so that when the dog is eating, it's not pushing around the dog bowls all around your kitchen. We made the mistake of getting the stainless steel bowls without the anti-skid, and it seems like they never stay still. They are always going somewhere. When it comes to the harness, I suggest you get one of these. These are way easier to put on than the ones that have this type of material like the leash. We actually started out with one of these. It just seemed like it was a big, huge hassle to put the harness on the dogs each time. With this type, our kids could even put the harness on really easily. So I suggest getting one of these. These aren't very expensive, but I do suggest getting one of these type. When it comes to a leash, I suggest to start off with just your run-of-the-mill cheap leash because puppies are going to chew on it, they're going to walk on it, they're going to pee on it, they're going to do all kinds of things to it and not take very good care of it until you teach them how to walk with a leash. So a couple other things that you need for puppy essentials is going to be a puppy comb. If the dog has long hair, you're going to need to brush it. I suggest starting out with a comb like you see here. That way it doesn't really hurt the dog as much as those metal bristles might hurt the dog. Ear wash may be something that you need. For my miniature poodle, we have to wash the ears out about once a week. Whereas we don't have to wash the ears at all with the golden retriever. So it just depends on the type of dog that you have gotten. Rawhide bones, chew toys. Oh my gosh, you're going to need so many of those because they chew and they chew a lot. I have bought toys. I have made toys, DIY. I have bought all different kinds of bones and all these are things that you're going to need. And you're probably going to need a lot of them. One tip is to go to a Dollar Tree and buy your toys there, because since they are, they're real cheap and the puppies seem to go through them an awful lot. Treats, oh my gosh, lots and lots of treats. Treat them for everything. Treat them for things, all good behavior. Even if they're just sitting there being good and you treat them, that is showing them that that's the behavior that you like. My miniature poodle is really picky when it comes to Treats, boiled chicken is like the top of the line, what they both really like, but Lincoln definitely likes it. But also this wholehearted treats and even the little sandwiches that they've got, those are the two that, that he just loves. I will link those down below because he's pretty picky and he loves those. So that's a good idea to get those as well. If your puppy lives inside with you, it may be a good idea to get puppy training pads so that they learn to go on the pad instead of on the floor. If you're one that is able to take them outside real quick a lot, then you can omit the training pads. But if you're not, then you probably need to set a training pad by the door and try to train them to go towards the door. All right, so dog kennels. When it comes to dog kennels, I really suggest getting the two door. When you have two doors, it just seems like it's a little more handier to use. Also, they make fence that actually makes a little playpen for the dogs, and one door could be used to go into the playpen, while the other one is used to go out. I will link the playpen down below so that if you are gone for several hours, that's a good idea to have that playpen where they can get in and out of their kennel and kind of move around a little bit. All right, guys. That is all for the puppy essentials. I hope this helps you figure out what you need for your puppy and I will see you on the next video.